Good morning, student. In our last video, we are discussing about training in sports, in which we have discussed about strength. Today, we will discuss about endurance and its method to develop endurance. Endurance is the ability of an individual to continue an activity for a long period of time without fatigue, or it is the ability of an individual to resist fatigue. Endurance, it is, uh, it is one of the important component for long distance running and middle distance running, as well as endurance is used in almost all game and sports like football, hockey, basketball, etc. Endurance, it, uh, it is measured through distance running or through the time factors. Endurance. There are two type of endurance, short term endurance and long term endurance. Short term endurance also known as um, anaerobic endurance or muscular endurance. Okay. First is endurance, it is of two type, short, uh, short term endurance or we can say aerobic anaerobic endurance or muscular endurance. Anaerobic means doing activity in the absence of oxygen in short term endurance uh, we perform the activity with high speed okay in short term endurance we perform the uh, activity with high speed in short term endurance also there are two type speed endurance and strain uh, endurance speed endurance and speed endurance we do the activity with high speed and high speed and the duration is short the durations of workout is about 30 to 60 second and our intensity our speed is 80 to 90 percent of the top speed ability in this in this process in this uh, in this it produces high level of lactic acid oxygen depth it cause loss of fatigue lot of fatigue short term endurance cause lot of fatigue because we do the activity with high speed okay therefore there is loss of fatigue this short term endurance is mainly um, mainly required in swimming uh, swimming game um, swimming game like swimming game basketball volleyball handball etc Next is strain endurance. Strain endurance, it is also a type of short term endurance. In strain endurance, we do the activity. Uh, we do the activity for short durations and um, we do the activity for short duration. This type of activity is done powerfully and forcefully for short duration. Okay, our speed, our this activity it is done for two to three minutes and for doing this it requires lot of muscular strength it uh, it is required in boxing wrestling judo etc these are the two type of short term endurance Long term endurance. In long term endurance, we do the activity for long durations and the speed is slow. Our speed or intensity is slow. Uh, we do the in long term endurance or we can say aerobic. Aerobic means in the presence of oxygen or we can say cardiovascular endurance. In this type of endurance, we do the activity for long duration and the intensity or our speed speed is slow it this long term endurance helps to develop aerobic natures uh, helps to develop develop um, it in this this type of activity it's of aerobic natures and speed is slow it delay the fatigue and it is required uh, required in the games like long distance running, road cycling, cross country, etc. These are the two types of endurance. Okay, what is endurance? 
endurance it is the ability of an individual to do the activity for long period of time without any fatigue there are two type of endurance short term endurance and long term endurance short term endurance we do the activity for a short duration and our speed is very fast it have to develop an aerobic types of uh, an aerobic um, an aerobic endurance long term endurance in long term endurance our we do the activity for long durations and the intensity or speed is very high training methods for development of strength how we can develop the strength there are three method to develop the strength continuous training methods interval training methods and fatigue training methods these are the three method to develop the endurance in continuous training methods it is one of the oldest methods to develop the endurance in this in this type of training methods we do the activity continuously for a long period of time without any break without any without having any rest or break in between in between the uh, activity because we do, because the uh, because of the long duration of the activity because we do the activity for long durations the intensity is slow in continuous training methods okay the first point is in continuous training methods we do the exercise uh, we do the exercise for a long period of time without having any rest or break in this it develop high level this methods is very uh, very good for developing the endurance it is develop very high level of endurance and we should perform continuous training methods once or twice in a week and in continuous training methods we do the activity for long period of time therefore our intensity our speed is slow in continuous training methods there are three types of continuous training methods um slow continuous training methods fast continuous uh, training methods and variable continuous training methods these are the three types of continuous training methods in slow continuous training methods and slow continuous training methods um Uh, slow continuous training methods our speed our speed is slow okay in slow continuous training methods our speed is slow but the duration uh, our speed is slow our our speed is slow but the duration is long we do the workout for a uh, for a long period of time okay in slow continuous training methods our speed is slow but the duration of workout is long or the distance is long we do the workout for across 1 to 2 hours or we can say we cover the distance 10 to 20 km and our speed and the hours our speed uh, speed is slow our heart rate is kept about a uh, 140 to 170 beats per minute and work is done with slow uh, slow to medium speed approximately 50 to 70 persons of our maximum ability in the end of the workout the cool down exercise should be performed with stretching and this slow continuous training methods helps to develop aerobic endurance aerobic means in the presence of oxygen this slow continuous training method helps to develop aerobic endurance this training methods is basically used in cross country marathon running road cycling etc next is fast continuous training methods in fast continuous training methods our speed is 
uh, our speed is fast we do the activity with fast speed and the distance and the distance is short okay in this uh, in this type uh, in this uh, fast continuous training matters the intensity of workout is very high for long duration we do the activity with high intensity that is 70 to 90% of our maximum ability of the uh, maximum ability of the intensity maximum ability okay we the work is done at 72 to 90% of maximum ability and as the intensity of workout is very high for the long durations this fast continuous training methods help to develop and aerobic endurance next is variable continuous training methods in variable continuous training methods it is a combination of slow and fast continuous training methods in this type of training methods in this type of training method the speed keep on changing sometimes our speed is fast and sometimes our speed is slow and we perform the activity uh, we perform the activity for 30 minute to 1 hours or distance is 10 to 15 kilometers and our heart rate is kept around 140 to 200 beats per minute this variable continuous training methods develop aerobic and and aerobic endurance and this variable continuous training methods is useful in almost all game and sports so the first point is <coughs> continuous training methods continuous training methods in continuous training methods we do the activity continuously for a long period of time in continuous training methods there are three types of uh, training methods fast continuous training method slow continuous training methods and variable continuous training methods in slow continuous training methods our speed is slow and the workout the workout uh, the workout um, is the workout period is long or the distance is long okay in slow continuous training methods we do the activity for long period of time long period of time or the distance is long but the speed is slow therefore it's have to develop aerobic endurance fast continuous training methods in fast continuous training methods um, our speed speed is very fast okay in fast continuous training methods we do the activity with high intensity and a, and the duration or the workout is long that is across um, 15 to 30 minutes of uh, 5 to 10 kilometers okay in fast continuous training methods we do the activity with fast speed our intensity is high next is variable continuous training methods it is a combination of fast and slow in variable continuous training methods our speed our speed sometimes it is high and sometimes it is slow and this variable continuous training methods helps to develop both aerobic and anaerobic endurance here continuous training methods okay slow continuous training methods slow continuous training methods fast continuous training methods and variable continuous training methods these are the three types of continuous training methods in slow continuous training methods we should do the workout a uh, workout for one to two hours okay we should do the workout for one to two hours on 10 to 20 kilometers in fast continuous we do the activity for 15 to 30 minutes in variable we do the activity for 30 to 1 hour 1 hours heart rate our heart rate should be 140 to 170 beats per minute and in fast continuous our heartbeat should be 160 to 
टू हंड्रेड बीट्स पर मिनट इन वेरेबल कंटिन्यूस आवर हार्ट बीट इज कैप वन फोर्टी टू टू हंड्रेड बीट्स पर मिनट वी शुड प्रैक्टिस वंस इन अ वीक एंड फास्ट कंटिन्यूस वी शुड प्रैक्टिस वंस अ ट्वेल्स इन अ वीक एंड वेरेबल्स वी शुड प्रैक्टिस वंस अ ट्वेल्स इन अ वीक इन स्पीड स्लो कंटिन्यूस आवर स्पीड इज आवर स्पीड आवर स्पीड इज फाइव टू सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द बेस्ट एंड फास्ट आवर स्पीड इज सेवेंटी टू नाइनटी एंड इन वेरेबल आवर स्पीड इज फोर्टी टू हंड्रेड दिस स्लो कंटिन्यूस इट गुड फॉर लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस फास्ट कंटिन्यूस इट इज गुड फॉर मिडिल डिस्टेंस एंड वेरेबल इट इज गुड फॉर ऑल गेम एंड स्पोर्ट्स फैटिक इन स्लो कंटिन्यूस आवर फैटिक इज हाई इन फास्ट कंटिन्यूस आवर फैटिक लेवल इज वेरी हाई एंड इन वेरेबल्स आवर फैटिक इज हाई दिस आर द सम डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्लो फास्ट एंड वेरेबल कंटिन्यूस ट्रेनिंग मैथड्स आवर नेक्स्ट मैथड्स इज इंटरवल ट्रेनिंग मैथड्स दिस इंटरवल ट्रेनिंग मैथड्स also helps to develop endurance okay through interval training methods we can develop our endurance in interval training methods we use the principle of effort and incomplete recovery okay in interval training methods the principle of effort and incomplete recovery is followed in this exercise in this matter we do the we do the exercise Now, exercise is done at relatively high intensity with intervals uh, of incomplete recovery okay we do the activity with high speed and then incomplete recovery fib workout and then incomplete recovery okay the principle of effort and incomplete recovery is follow the exercise is done at high intensity with interval of incomplete recovery workout fit incomplete rest workout incomplete rest workout incomplete rest and so on we do the activity like this okay interval interval okay workout rest workout rest workout and so on the the principle of effort and incomplete recovery in interval training methods the main uh in complete interval training methods there are two types of interval training methods slow interval training methods and fast interval training methods there are the two types of first thing is interval training methods in interval training method we use the principle of effort and incomplete recovery there are two types of interval training methods slow interval training methods and fast interval training methods slow interval training methods is also known as extensive interval training methods in this types of training methods in this type of training uh, methods okay slow our speed is slow okay we do the workout as medium piece okay medium speed whereas the distance distance is long okay in slow continuous training methods we do the activity for long duration and our speed is medium the workout are run at medium pace medium speed this slow interval training help to develop aerobic endurance it help to develop aerobic endurance and we should perform once or twice in a week in slow interval training methods the speed of workout is 60 to 80% our speed is uh, our speed is medium okay so uh, 60 to 80% and the distance is 5 to 10 kilometers and the duration of rest is 1 to 3 minutes in between the workout okay this is interval training method so we do the workout and then uh, rest One to three minute of rest, and then again walk out. And our speed is sixty to eighty persons. And this slow 
interval or we can say extensive interval it is good for developing the aerobic endurance <laughs> this is used in the game like hockey basketball fast interval training methods fast interval training methods and fast interval training methods this is good for developing the and aerobic endurance in this methods in fast interval training methods uh, we do the activity with fast speed our speed is high and um, okay our speed is high the players is uh, the player in fast continuous training methods our speed is high and we have to run for short duration okay the duration or distance is short but our speed is very high and there is a incomplete recovery in between the workout the recovery is generally and we should perform two to three times in a week in fast or we can say intensive interval training methods the duration of workout is 15 to 30 minutes we do the activity for 15 to 30 minutes or 5 to 2 to 5 kilometers and our speed is and we do the activity with maximum speed therefore 80 to 100 percent or with our with all out ability and the duration of rest is 1 to 3 minutes in between the workout and this is good for developing the and aerobic endurance what are the advantages advantages of interval training methods the first advantage of interval training methods is that this methods help to develop both aerobic and an aerobic endurance in less number of days we can develop high level of endurance because we do the activity with repetition so in less number of day we can develop high level of endurance interval training methods is very easy to administer and organize as a course can easily supervise his training okay <laughs> we can easily the course easily supervise his training therefore it is good to administer and in this interval training methods the athletes get rest and recovery time therefore the chance of fatigue is less the chance of fatigue or injury is also less uh, less because he get a rest and recovery period in between the workout and proper overloading can be provided and applied to a player okay proper overloading after the adoptions of previous we should load step by step effective for the athlete athletes of almost all game this interval training methods is good for almost all game and sports as it develops the speed along with endurance we should um, it is very effective this interval training methods is very effective for runner sprinter middle distance running long distance running etc and we should practice twice once or twice in a week and proper adoptions of workout is achieved and it's helped to develop high level of endurance these are the some advantages of endurance let make some comparison between slow and fast interval training methods the first comparison is this slow interval training methods slow interval training methods and fast interval training methods in uh, slow interval training methods we do the workout for 30 to uh, 1 hours and in fast we do the activity for 15 to 30 minutes the distance is 5 to 10 kilometers and here's fast our distance is 2 to 5 meters interval period our interval is interval period of workout is 2 to 5 we keep the 
वी गिव द इंटरवल इंटरवल और डिस्टेंस इन ईच इंटरवल टू टू फाइव मिनट द स्पीड द स्पीड ऑफ वर्कआउट और द इंटेंसिटी इज स्लो टू मीडियम दैट इज सिक्सटी टू एटी परसेंट एंड इन फास्ट आवर स्पीड इज वेरी फास्ट वी डू द एक्टिविटी विद हाई स्पीड दैट इज फ्रॉम एटी टू हंड्रेड हंड्रेड परसेंट नंबर ऑफ रिपीटेशन टेन टू ट्वेंटी टाइम्स वी शूड डू द रिपीटेशन फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी टाइम्स एंड फास्ट इंटरवल वी शू द we should do the repetition of 15 to uh, 20 duration of rest in slow the duration of rest is 1 to 3 minute and in fast our duration is also 1 to 3 heart rate in heart rate in slow 140 to 170 in fast continuous fast interval our heart beat is 170 to 200 beats per minute our next topic is foot leg training methods in foot leg training methods this training methods also helps to develop endurance foot leg training methods it is also known as speed play foot leg is a swedish term which means speed play okay in this uh in this training methods it is introduced by o uh, ester dern and gosta holmers in foot leg training the in foot leg training method the change of speed is not pre planned therefore the sports person uh, can change his speed on his own duration on his own during the activity according to uh, according to the surrounding or his feeling therefore this method is uh, is more set discipline in order to be more effective examples in road uh road running cross country etc okay in foot leg training methods it is also known as speed play this methods the athlete use the foot leg training methods we do this training methods in a natural environment this foot leg training methods we do uh we do the activity in a natural environment the natural track is used for running the athlete is set to free to run okay he is free to run from starting uh, uh, he is uh, he is free to run from starting point at his own speed at his um, the athlete is uh, set free to run from the starting point with his own pace means with his own speed he may be run he may uh, he may run fast slow etc the athlete himself regulate or control his speed he is free to choose his speed he may run walk slow jogging etc he is free and the but the things to be kept in mind is that he has to reach the finishing point in a desired time okay the first point is that for the training methods we do this training methods in our natural environment the athlete is free to use his own speed in this training methods the athlete can can do uh, running jogging walking sitting etc he is free uh, he is free he he regulate his uh, he regulate or control his speed um in speed in in uh, for the training methods for the training methods at least is free to choose his part he may use short cut or long cut he himself control but the things to be kept in mind is that he has to finish the finish uh, he has to uh, he has to finish he has to reach the finishing point in a desired um, desired time and uh, for the training methods before performing we should perform proper warming up and the distance the workout is about 10 to 20 km 
in fatlik training methods the distance is kept uh, 10 to 20 kilometers and uh, the duration uh, the duration is 1 to 2 kilometers okay for the training methods the change of speed is not pre-planned the sports persons can change his own speed during the activity according to his feeling according to his feeling surrounding etc this methods is more self-discipline as as uh, um, set discipline in order to be effective for example road run, uh, road running cycling marathon running etc okay so uh, once again i will discuss what is interval training map what is fatigue training methods fatigue training method it is also known as speed play and fatigue training methods we use the natural environment um, we use the natural environment for the running in fatigue training methods, the athlete is free. The athlete is free to run from starting point. Now, uh, from starting point on his own speed, he can uh, he can run, walk. Uh, he can run, walk, sprint, <coughs> sit, etc., etc. Or uh, him, from the starting point, uh, from the starting point, he made uh, he. He can choose short cut, long cut, he may run, sit, walk, etc. But the things to be kept in mind that he has to reach the finish, uh, finishing point in a desired time. And in Fatlik, the distance is 10 to 20 kilometers and time is kept 1 to 2 hours. And it should be performed once in a week. It should be performed once in a week. Week, and the athlete should carry water bottles and safety tools with him. What are the advantages? Advantages of footwork training methods. First is we practice in a natural environment. This develop creative, give adventures with physical fitness etc.